guys, welcome back to the Planner Pixie Co. Show. If you're new here, welcome. I'm very excited that you're here with us. Um, today we are doing a little rewind spread that was the week of March 8th through the 14th. This was the March TPC sale and the theme was 1980s. I don't normally match my spread to the theme of TPC, but... This was such a good theme and I had so many different things that I could have used. So I've kind of went back and forth about what I wanted to use. There was a Glam Planner kit I could have used. There was an SPC kit I could have used. Just released the brand new Forever Young in our shop that I could have used. Ultimately, I went with what I used for the art for our freebies. So this was all of the freebies for the March sale. Um, and normally I don't use my freebies from the sales because the mini kits usually only contain these four boxes and you guys know if you've watched any of my plan with me's that's not enough boxes for me but this time I had an extra add-on of these four boxes and I had this baby right here so I'm hoping that this will do it for me I may maybe I have to go and make maybe one more I don't know if I have to I have to but I think it's gonna be fine I definitely am going to have to make extra boxes because it is only four pages there's plenty of glitter glitter headers all of my date covers are there um, only need one of those only need one of those so I think I'm good to go. I'm just gonna have to make my extra bo boxes, which is not nothing new for me. Um, I've made extra boxes for so long now, so it's fine. Um, I am using Pink Hollow and Gold Pixie. I think this is gonna look so good together. So I have the fun twirly Q um, underlays in Pink Hollow. I've pulled this just to get the numbers off of that. I have this for my bottom washi combination. This is gonna turn out so stinking cute. So I have the star headers and I may go every other one. I'm not quite sure yet about those, but I have both of those star overlays, both of these in my favorite box overlay, and then I have this in gold and this in pink hollow. So I think this is gonna turn out so, so good and I'm so excited. Hopefully this is still enough boxes for me. I feel like it's going to be because normally in a normal kit there's eight plus one extra. So we have eight plus the big box. I think it's going to be fine. I think we're going to be good. Let's lay this down.
This got really colorful really quickly. <laughs> I showed this to Casey and he was like, that's loud. It really is. Um, but I think it's super cute and I think it'll balance all out once we get all of the boxes down. Or maybe it won't because they're super col colorful too. I actually pulled from the multicolor line um, and cut up some of the bottom washi to make a couple of boxes because mini kits do not work for me. So I actually had started filming this <laughs> and I uh, needed to go look for another sticker and I had already put that down. So I just decided to start over. So anyway, Randy's random question. Have I asked this one before? I don't feel like I have. So what is your all time favorite movie? I feel like that's a pretty hard question, honestly. There's so many good movies. Um, so on here, I use this little um, doggo with a unicorn hoodie onesie in a cloud rainbow because it just went with the spread. It's colorful. Um, and put Record Breaking Week because this was definitely that for us as far as Planner Pixie Co goes. Okay, so my favorite movie, I don't know. I um, should have thought of this answer before I asked the question. So, most watched movie for me would probably be Grease. I had a really huge obsession with Grease for a long, long time, and I've probably watched that more than any other movie. I really like Dirty Dancing. And also, another movie I was super obsessed with for a really long time <laughs> Legally Blonde. <laughs> it's kind of way out of left field but yeah and I actually watched Legally Blonde a couple weeks ago it came on I think it's like new on Netflix I had never seen it on Netflix before and it like just showed up in like the home page so I watched it again it's still really good <laughs> so yeah those are my top three I would say I can't really think of like a newer movie that just like stood out I don't know I have a bad memory too also but yeah definitely most watched are those three um i just really like old movies i just feel like old movies are so good i would much rather watch an old movie that i've already seen than like a newer movie that i've already seen over and over and over i don't know i just really like old movies also i really like the halloween movies <laughs> i really like michael myers scares the bejesus out of me but I like to watch those movies. So those are more movies that I've watched over and over and over. I pretty much watch Halloween every single Halloween. So <laughs> that's mine. That was a lot. I don't really feel like I have an absolute favorite. If I had to say, probably Grease. Um, okay. Uh, both in office this day. That is from Paper and Thread, a.k.a. Sweet Ava's Paper. She's making a change back to her old name sometime um and then i had to do reprints i think i left off the last plan with me having to do reprints so this was an occasion that we reprinted and still didn't get it right and we had to reprint again that um the um printer sticker is from starfish and frog i do believe um, this day, not really the greatest, happiest thing to put in my planner, but I'm going to switch these colors around too, I think. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, my granny got put in the hospital this day. Um, she's okay back home, but it was like really strange, um, and scary. She just all of a sudden lost her memory. Um, and I'm not sure they ever really got it figured, like, pinpointed. She had several different um, issues. But they found an infection in her spinal cord. And so they got her fixed up and sent home. All, all is okay. Um, but like I said, it was just... Um, it was very strange because it was very like overnight sudden so um that's like a little worried girl from fox and cactus um we had pizza night this night i really really love this pizza sticker i think it's cute with the cheese melting off of it 
This is also from Starfish and Frog. And it matches the spread so good. She has, like, her stickers are very, very colorful. So Pete's and I, and then I did some designing and binging. Doesn't really say what I was binging. Guys, I can't decide what my next show needs to be as far as binging. Like, I really want to rewatch Shameless um, because I know it's it's ended now, right? Or it's ending. That's from Pumpkin Paper Co. And that was my Monday. So it's either ended or ending. I don't know. That's just such a really good show. And I really... I started watching, not this last season, but the season before, and I never finished it for whatever reason. I don't know. So I was thinking about going back and re-watching the whole thing. Um, and then catching up on the very end. Um, maybe. I don't know. I just, I like picking ones to watch while I'm like working in bed ones that I've already seen so like I already know what's going on I know what's gonna happen um because I am like preoccupied with designing and stuff and then I like to have ones that I've never watched before that I actually pay attention to when I'm not working but let's be honest I'm working most of the time so I don't know it may be shameless but I haven't picked a new show. I haven't picked a new show. Um, okay, so on Tuesday we packaged orders. That is also from Fox and Cactus. And then I started all over with invoices. That is from Coffee Monsters Co. And um, guess what, guys? I forgot to make a couple of scripts. for. I didn't forget. I just kind of looked over them. I think two scripts out of this um, plan with me that I didn't even make. So I don't know how that happens. But anyway... That is from Paper and Thread, aka Sweet Davis Paper, and um, after invoices comes a mass print, and so I printed. And then um, I tried to groom Roxy. Mm, I still haven't finished her grooming. I ordered um, this thing online that you attach to your table, and it's like the harness thing that you put around them to keep them steel. That's supposed to be coming in the next couple of days. So I'm going to redo what I tried to do the first time and she got all crazy. So I used this, um, um, we'll do it like this. I used this Calm Yo Tits from uh, Once More With Love. So I put grooming attempt number one and I tell her that on a daily basis to calm her tits and she tried to bite me while I was doing that, so yeah. All right, and then we had ribs in the Instant Pot this night, um, and that was that. Um, I feel like, yeah, this is really super co colorful. Okay, and then, um, how much time do I got? All right, I'm gonna use a foldable. Um, this day, what is this day, Wednesday? Uh, this one cut a little wonky. Let's see. Looks like a bunch of cutting and, you know, the huge. The huge. What's new? Guys, I do have something that's happening in my world right now that's kind of exciting that I'm like, <laughs> I'm not allowed to talk about and I want to talk about so bad. But I hope that I can talk about it soon. And it's going to allow me to have way more in my planner, I think, <laughs> than just work for a little bit anyway. And I probably shouldn't have even said that, but whatever. <laughs> I'm excited! Okay, um, I, feel, I always get these crooked. Let me do it this way. <laughs> it pulled up some of the ink or the foil the ink okay there we go foldables are fun okay yeah that's pretty ooh pretty good okay 
Where's the stickers? All right, so we were both in office this day. This needs to be over here. I don't know how I ever put stickers down without my tweezers. I try to do it now, and it's just, like, impossible for me. Um, both in office. That is from Paper Shire. That's one of the new little couple stickers that they have come out with recently. And so we got all open orders done this day, which is super exciting. That's also from Paper Shire. Um, because the very next day was TPC sale, so it was very short-lived. I put on some new nails this night. This is from Bare Necessities. There we go. And then this is a piece of washi that I actually cut. So it's this down here. So I just kind of made it into a box for something different and it works. So Casey cleaned the kitchen this night. This is from, is this supposed to be over here? I feel like it's not, but whatever. Fox and Cactus. And then this night was the big old love. Always happens the day before TPC. I actually forgot about this month's big old love and didn't tune in and I feel awful for it. But when I said I needed a break, I really meant like a break. I really tried to focus on the things I needed to focus on and not get like super sidetracked. Okay, so I used this little paper shower girl that's on her phone because I, wait, whatever. Oh, no, no, let's do it this way. Um, I always watch it from my phone because I'm usually on my laptop, so I just kind of plug my phone in and set it up beside me and listen in. So that's always at 8.30 p.m. And then after that went off, we had a movie night in bed we watched the new coming to america that um is on amazon prime i quite liked it it felt very nostalgic because it was like a lot of the same characters that were in the first movie and coming the first coming to america is like one of casey's all-time favorite movies so i liked it it was pretty good that is from Once More With Love. Okay, so Thursday. Um, I did not sleep good. Like, I didn't sleep hardly at all. Um, I hate those nights. They suck so bad. Um, so, I just put... What did I put? Oh, this is the other one that I forgot to make the, um, <laughs> the script to. So I probably am going to put, I don't know, not peaceful sleep, tired AF. I don't know, one of those. So TPC was this day. I could have used a way bigger box right there. Let me move this down. I am way too particular. And I just messed her up a little bit. Oh well. Okay. Guys, there was one night that I absolutely couldn't sleep. I ended up getting back up and just powering through the next day. And it was horrible. <laughs> I don't suggest anyone do that ever. Okay, so TPC starts at 11 a.m. for... Anybody that's in the TPC sale group, 12 p.m. for everybody else. But I put TPC 11 a.m. and like a little party girl from Stick With A Plan Co. And then this was a Dunlap night for me. I, did I really, did this is supposed to work? Okay, hold on. I don't feel like it's going to. But I'm sure I measured it. It's going to be a tight squeeze, guys. Okay, I'm trying to fit three of these plus that one in here. I don't know about this. Still don't know about 
about this? Oh my gosh. Maybe I'll cut this one down a little bit. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Anyway, this was a Dunlop knot for me. So, that means I went to my mama's. I'll go ahead and like space these how I want them. Like that. And how did I ever think that was going to work? I don't know. And try to cut it and not like completely screw it up. Um, that'll work. I'm gonna put it all the way down here on the washi though. Okay. Okay, so Dunlap Night. Um, I like to use little, any little car sticker just to signify that I drove to Dunlap. And on my way there, this time, I picked up some Chinese. So good. That is like a little Chinese takeout sticker from, I think that was on a freebie from um, Starfish and Frog. Pretty sure. And then I did some designing after I ate. That is an icon from my shop. And we watched The Mask Singer. I think this was, hold on, I wrote it down. Yeah, I think this was the very first episode of this new season. I'm going to cut this. And I guessed the very first person. I really honestly didn't think that's who it was. <laughs> because it was a Muppet. But I was like, that really sounds like Kermit the Frog. And it was Kermit the Frog. So... <laughs> We watched Mass Singer and some other stuff, but I always like put Mass Singer because I just am obsessed with that show. I'm sorry, but I am. Um, okay, Friday. <sighs> I feel like by now, if you've watched enough of these, Fridays after a Dunlap day, you kind of know what I'm going to do. I'm usually going to pick up Arby's on my way through Dayton. <laughs> Uh, this is like a little takeout pickup sticker from Fox and Pip. And I put Arby's again. And then, because I don't ever sleep good, ever. So I had not slept good this night. And then, or the night before. I didn't sleep good Wednesday night. And I, for whatever reason, I don't sleep good when I'm at my mom's. I don't know that bad. I don't even sleep in my old bedroom. I sleep in the guest bedroom because there's a king size bed in there and I'm just bougie like that. <laughs> but I never really sleep good. So two nights of not sleeping good. I got my belly full and I took a nap. So I just put nap queen and that is from um, Starfish and Frog. All right, so when I got up, I did do some YouTube stuff. I film, edited, and uploaded um, a haul, but then I also did film another plan with me, and I filmed a base too. So lots of YouTube, and this is jai freaking enormous. Holy balls, that's huge! Oh well, <laughs> that looks that looks that wow. Okay. I'm going to use an arrow. I didn't realize it was going to be that big. Like, wowzers. I don't really like the way that looks. But it's going to stay. Okay. Um, and then, it honestly does not say this on here. But for some reason, I pulled this particular sticker of this little emoji on the phone so i'm gonna assume i had a tiktok binge because that's usually what happens at night <laughs> so that is from coffee monsters go okay saturday i did the checkbook first thing it looks like which is weird that's something you want to do first thing in the morning ain't it your finances 
This is from Piper and Thread. Chick book. And then I ordered groceries. This is from Once More With Love. And then I printed the pick list and went through all of that um, from TPC Orders. That is from Fox and Cactus. So printed it off, went through it, seeing what we had in stock, seeing what needed to be printed. And so then pick list means, what does it mean, guys? You guessed it. It means that I have to print. So... I did a mass print. This is from mm, some shop. <laughs> oh gosh, I really can't think of the name of that shop. It's um, who's the shop that has the babe box? Like I can think of that. I can't think. Oh well, I'm sure you guys know. Um, I had it to edit and upload probably all of that stuff that I did the day before and I remember being in the office like super late like until f like 5 in the morning I think or something like that. Printing plus editing and uploading everything. So I used that little emoji that or maybe a munchkin I don't know one or the other on the laptop thinking about bed and uh, that was Saturday. So Sunday, I had to pick up my groceries that I ordered the night before. I'm like upset that I can't think of the name of that shop. I'm going to be sitting here and thinking about it the whole time now. That is from Once More With Love. Pick up groceries. And then while I was doing that, Casey was at home cutting that first batch of orders. That's straight. This one is less than to be desired. Okay. So this is an icon from my shop. Actually still available in my shop. I need to do some more of those. And then I did some laundry when I got home. This is the little tiger character from Starfish and Frog. So colorful, matched the spread so well. And then after that, I had to finish printing because it was so much. I didn't get it done all in the night before. I hear my husband pulling up. And get this done before he comes in. So this is from Boba Bear Studios. Finished printing. And then I had to design some more stuff, or I did design some more stuff, and um, sent out the first batch of emails for all of the freebies from the sale. And that is Paper and Thread. Wow. <laughs> this one is so colorful. I don't normally, I, you guys know, I go for more pastel muted. But it's fun to mix it up every now and then, right? I mean, I love Care Bears, so it's okay. I think I forgot to mention, I remember trying to do something a little different over here, and I, t I hated the way it looked, and I ended up completely changing it. So when you watch, like, the sped up part, and then you come here, and it's completely different, that's why. I couldn't get everything to fit exactly the way I wanted to, and then I had these two butted up together, and for whatever reason, I just... I just feel like they need to be broke up in the middle. I don't know. I'm just picky. But anyway, this is super cute. Um, like I said, it's nice to break up the the lighter colors every now and then and just kind of go all out. So hopefully you, you guys enjoyed this plan with me and my super colorful spread. So if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Like and subscribe. Do all the things so you don't miss all the things. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys.